Welcome again to another tutorial video, it's your boy Elorado and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to get soft, dancehall, you know, lush, luxurious, any, you know, any type of soft dancehall type piano sound. So, in this example, you now mix a little bit of preparation before doing this video and what we have here as you can see uh, is FL key and expand to where practically everybody have access to. So expand to everybody can see they can get if you have 14 US dollars. FL key is your started. So how to get softer piano sound or you know different type of piano sound in this tutorial video I'm gonna show you a couple of ways how you can really get it. Now for this example I put a soft clipper on the master out so this can be a little bit more louder so this is the progression that we have here in a lot of beats i really hear stuff like this in which it sounds a little bit awful to me to be honest and there are better ways to get better piano sound so for this example First thing you want to do upon, look upon when you when you when you after you create a progression is velocity. And down here you have to think about changing the velocity so it can sound a little bit more realistic. One command we may always do it is press Alt A, then press Alt R to kinda have this like and put it on bipolar mode. Sometimes we take it off. And you know you can click through it and it gives you different different results so let me play it again with that random velocity on it so it sounds a little bit better than before the next thing you can do is adjust the amplitude or the volume of the key so first thing on most beats you always middle we always turn on here It sounds a little bit more better now. Now there are other things that I can do. CM speed. So moving on with this, I'm going to put it in channel one. What I'm going to do here is use an EQ and take off the highs of the piano sound. So it sounds a little bit more better. So what you can do more is to make it sound you know a little bit more cleaner is to take off some of the lows not too much because the body of the piano is in the low mids and low so you don't really want to take off too much of it but you don't need you don't really need the rumbling of the keys if you do not if, if it's not intentional so Another thing that you can even use is use third party plugins and you have native plugin that can do this but, but for this example I'm going to apply like sketch cassette and play it again. So it sounds a little bit more fuller. You know, there are more methods like adding reverb, etc. And saturation, distortion, a lot of things that you can really use to beef up the sound. Now, um, going back to the keys, I'm going to copy this progression that I have here. Basically, same progression. And paste it back and let you hear it. The first progression that I have there before this video. So what I can do also, I'm going to reset this. I'm going to turn off the inserts that I have on it. So if it's a case that you don't really need but the highs, you know, you can really adjust and go, but filter off the highs so it does not sound brittle. So for example, if 
you have the intention to like make it louder like like when you are boost like say say for instance you master the beat overall me just to turn up this very loud for argument's sake you really, really start here it start, the keys them start jam in your headphone or in the speaker and so forth like that so amplitude or volume have a lot to do with it to, to get to maintain that 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 lush sound so the lower you, you, you go um, I would recommend going low lower in amplitude before it reaches that limit or soft clipper so I'm going to turn it down here so you're hearing it now that you know it's still maintain that lush sound but it, you're not hearing the keys jamming like you know pressing it hard hearing it like in your in your headphone so velocity and amplitude have a lot to do are getting that particular sound we really need on the piano and so forth like that it have to do with strings too this is a it is a technique you can use on strings too because a lot of times i hear some strings they are not thick but the high end of the strings are are so intense and and can't even listen to when they reach at that mastering stage it's all really high load and brittle to the ears and sometimes I even wonder how artists really record with those type of sounds in the headphone but who am i to say you know so what i'm saying is all right we're going to use a third party plugin for this example i'm going to turn back down this again and what i'm going to do here is copy this paste it here i'm going to go to keys down here acoustic piano i'm going to choose a soft grand piano all right natural soft grand you hear that song let's see the presets that here um natural oh, that's how strings with it so we just all work with the natural grand piano and what i'm going to do here is put it on a different channel and alter the sound a little bit to make the sound unique soft and sounding different from the first one so what i'm going to do is practically the same thing but different plugin so i'm going to turn down the amplitude of this plugin i'm going to add a saturator in which i'm going to use decapitator and what I'm going to do I'm going to use this to filter off some of the highs So what I'm going to add to this particular re um, sound is reverb. So I'm going to use it like a send return thing like. So um, delete reverb. I'm going to add some reverb. And I'm going to add, add a large hall. I pretty much leave everything else as is. can do for the reverb is EQ the reverb also filter parametric EQ make it a little bit larger I'm going to filter off the lows of this reverb you 
It's like shaping the reverb going to the piano. And there are other things that I can do, you know, with this also. So I'm going to use, you know, my saucy plugin. And I am going to go to. I'm not going to add the saturated to it. You can use different layers of saturation plugin. Well, add another saturator to it. Just so you use um, Sketch Cassette to give it a different sound. Oh, and this is extremely loud. Change the cassette type, cheap cassette. This plugin now you can really make it old, but uh, for argument's sake, I'm not. I'm just going to use the wobbly effect on it. I'm going to turn it back off. The wire and flutter, wow and flutter, of the sketch cassette. So it gives us a different sound, texture, and that nice feeling that you really want. So I'm going to pass and bypass it also. I mean, after this stage, you probably can use an EQ. I'm going to use one or more visible to the eye. Kind of soft here, you can use multi band compression also. To darken it, but uh, it is what it is. And these are methods that you can really use to alter the sound of your piano. You can use it to change the sound of the piano. Because what you have to bear in mind is that there are thousands of people are creating music with these type of plugins. So making a sound unique to you, you know, by adding this and adding that, taking out this and adding that and mix, mixing it up, you know, can make that particular sound unique to you. So these are methods that I use to get my lush dancer sound on the piano. And, and even on strings, I tend to use these methods, you know, adding effects on my sound, playing with the velocity to give it a different feel, feel a little bit more realistic feeling, you know, towards my sound. Oftentimes, you will see me do that, but um, my 49 <laughs> um, MIDI keyboard now is, you know, I have to go buy one new one, so we can't really get to play, play more than so than the little one that I have here on my desk. But, you know, you can play around with it, you know, use the shortcut to get you somewhere near there. So, hope this video was helpful in some ways how you can really get that that industry standard dance or sound that you hear out there on a lot of records. These are methods that is are, are being used to get that particular sound. So, don't be the one that, you know, hearing the velocity or hearing the, the, the piano sound being jamming in your headphone because when it is mastered, it, it, it even gets worse. So think about velocity and think about the amplitude or the value of the current sound. So hope this helps you in some ways and give you some tip towards certain things where you know you can use it. Make your beats even better or make your piano sound, sound a little bit more fuller, sexier, and, you know. The right way where you know industry are, are mainstream artists you know 
hearing. So any artist here I work with hear these type of beats or this type of sound, we gravitate it and so you know set the beat on fire. So without further ado, if this was helpful, please subscribe, like it so it can be shared to a lot more people. And don't forget to subscribe if you know I've said that already and you know what you think. So until next time, peace out.